Well, I'm Kenneth Gundry. This car is a Rover 1650 from 1925, which my grandfather bought new, and it's been in the family ever since. For many years, from 1939 to 1950, it was up on wooden blocks in a garage. And then my father, who had inherited it, put it back on the road, and we used it just for summer vacations, uh, camping, in fact, with towing a trailer. And then in, I think, 1960, it went back up on the wooden blocks and it stayed there until 1994, when my father died. And my cousin took it over and did a lot of work on it. Rebuilt the engine, new pistons, rebore, respray, original color. And in 2002, he decided he didn't want to keep it because he was going to move from England to France. And I had somewhere to keep it here and I was interested, so I had it shipped over and um, here it is. Not so long after I had it, the engine died. It was zero compression in number four cylinder. Well, with the moral support of a couple of friends who had worked on engines in their youth, we had the cylinder head off and it became apparent what was wrong. I thought it had been a gasket, but it wasn't. It was a cracked exhaust valve. So I had to uh, find a company that could make new exhaust valves and I had to get them and I had to reinstall them and, and the engine started. Two or three months later the engine died again <laughs> for a different reason, the magneto died. Um, and I had to find a company in England that uh, specialised in magnetos. It's of course a magneto ignition, vacuum fuel pump, of course it has a starting handle, four wheel brakes. Four-wheel brakes were by no means universal in 1925. And you may notice on the back there's a little red triangle that says four-wheel brakes. That's to warn people following. Keep your distance, this car can stop. <laughs> the, the top one is the same as the accelerator. If I move it, I see the pedal move. And the bottom one is the timing. It makes an adjustment on the magneto, which generates the spark. Uh, I don't know whether it's going as well as it ought. It coughs a lot. 